Hello friends again. Uh, so today we are going to see the design of beam column. Uh, in the previous video we have seen the uh, how to design a beam column and the steps to design a beam column. In this video we will be focusing on a problem. Here we will be trying to solve one problem which was uh, asked in open university examination in some previous year. So the problem is design a column building frame with an effective length of 3.2 meter subjected to a factor axial load of 500 kN, factor bending moment of 45 kN meter and you have to solve problem until the check for section strength only. Okay, so uh, so as we as per our steps in uh, shown in last video, uh, step one is writing the given data. So what is given data? Given data is you are given with the factor load of 500 kilonewton so this is your pu so pu is equal to 500 kilonewton you don't need to uh, do factor uh, this is not a working load so it's already factor load given and factor bending moment 45 kilonewton meter so mu is given that is 45 kilonewton meter okay so what else is given is uh, your span is given so your KL or L effective is 3.2 meter so what is your step 2 step 2 was to select a trial section so select a trial section so for selecting a trial section you go for AE required is equal to PU upon FCD and you multiply this thing by 2 just to compensate why do you multiply this is to to compensate the ignorance of bending moment because to find the area required to find the area required of the section you are finding it purely based on pu and you are ignoring this mu so to compensate the ignorance of this mu we are multiplying here by 2 okay but you don't know what is fcd so in this problems you should assume fcd somewhere around 120 to 180 MPa megapascal so we will assume 120 megapascal and then okay then we'll find ae required will be what is the pu pu is 500 and into 10 to the power 3 that is kilo newton upon fcd is 120 newton per mm square into 2 so if you calculate this you will get something like 3 mm square so you need to go uh, to the steel table and find the section uh, i section essentially with area gross section area or um, area which is greater than 833 mm square so let us now go into our steel table. So eight three three. So yes. So this area is in mm square, but the area given in uh, steel table is in centimeter square. So you just have to multiply by ten to the power minus two centimeter square that means 83.33 centimeter square okay so let us find something which is 83 so here is your um, yeah so here is your sectional area you need to find something which is more than 83.33 mm square so let's go this is 83.14 then this is 95.50 you can use 
an IS LB500 or also there can be uh, you can go for this as well or else uh, you can find another one this is 95 we want actually 83.33 but it is a little bit on higher side so you can find someone in between so yes let us go for some other sections let's find so if you go here so see this section here 85.01 which is the uh, greater than 85.01 is greater than 83.33 which is not much difference as well because that one was 95 point something so the difference was too much so this would now not be economic so to consider economy we are going for a little bit higher but in in for the safety case you can go for this as well but for the problem this problem we are now selecting this section so this section is iswb 400 so let us write all the properties of this section first iswb 400 at 66.7 kg per meter and you can find ae is equal to 8501 mm square you just multiply it by enter the power 2 then the depth of section D is equal to your 400 mm. B of is 200 mm. Then your T of is 13 mm. Your TW is 8.6 mm. Okay. And what else do you require is your H1. H1 is nothing but this I is your H1. So H1 is on the next page here. This H1 for ISWB 400, 340.5. So yes, H1 means 340.5. So let me go there and write. So yes. So this is our step number three. Step three. Okay, so now the step four. Step four comes. You need to classify the section. For classification, you know the table number two. What you do is you write B upon T F. That is nothing but B F by two upon T F. Standard upon thirteen is equal to if you do it it comes out to be 7.69 which is less than 8.4 epsilon so there will be a separate video available on the channel to uh, check how to classify the section where you can learn how to classify the section i'm just uh, doing it as it is here i will give the link for the mm. that particular video in the description Okay, so the section is plastic. Okay, so now the step five comes here is find the buckling class of the section. So how do you find the buckling class? So for buckling class, if you go to, uh, there will be a separate video for buckling class as well.
Okay, so the buckling class is uh, A and the video for how to find buckling class will also be uploaded and I will uh, write the link for the video in the description box. So the next step for us is the step number six. This is most important, maybe the step where you calculate the design strength in tension. That is ND is equal to AG FY for gamma M0, which is given in the class number 8 point. Uh, okay, so it's given in the class number 9.3. Okay, so when you go for AG FY for gamma M0, so your AG here is 8501 where fy is 250 newton per mm square and gamma m0 as we know 1.10 so it comes out to be 1932.04 into 10 to the power 3 newton which comes like kilonewton yeah so this is your n d then the final step or the second last step step 7 where you find design strength in bending. MD is equal to, so this is in the clause 8.2.1.2. So you write MD is equal to beta B, Z, B, F, Y upon gamma M0. What is your beta B here? Your section is plastic, therefore beta B is 1.0 because the section is plastic. The value of ZB, let us go and find the value of ZB. Our section was ISWB. Our section was ISWB 400. So let's go back into your IS code and into the annexure A, H. So this annex C, you can go find annex H, which is at the end of the IS code. Yes, here you need to find ZP in the plastic section modeler. So section is IVSWB 400. So let us find 400. Yes, so here is the IFWB 400 at 66.7. I hope I'm going correct. Yeah. So the ZP is 1290.19 centimeter cube. So 1290.19 centimeter cube that is 1290.19 into 10 to the power 3 mm cube because everything is in mm in our problem. So M D is equal to beta B Z B F one from gamma M zero is one point one zero and if you calculate this thing okay sorry I forgot this ten to the power two to come here. So it comes out to be around two ninety three point two two five kilonewton meter, which is your M D and Okay, so your final step, uh, step number eight, where you go for section strength. Step eight is check for strength. N upon ND plus M upon MD should be less than or equal to 1.0. What was your PU? So your PU was around 500 kilonewton, 45. So 500 kilonewton upon what is your ND? ND is 1932.04, 1932.04 plus M was 45 so kilonewton, kilonewton meter upon your MD came 
out to be 293.225 so if you calculate this this comes out to be 0.25 plus 0.15 and then is equal to 0 0.40 which is less than 1.0 therefore ok save and that's all about your design of beam column this is a problem one the problem two will be uh, uh, check adequacy of the section so it will be analysis problem this was the design problem the next video will be for the analysis problem thank you for watching